Hey guys, here I am with another haul video. So, let's get started here. So first we have, uh, got some stuff for a Russian sniper. Let me get a pretty cool view on this. He's got a Mazinagant custom painted with gunmetal and dark brown and some cloth over that. Looks pretty cool on both sides, you know what they use. And he's also wearing a parka over his brown suit. Uh, he's sweating and wearing a dark OG green um, helmet, which is pretty cool. Next we have this um, Ranger with the M1 carbine rifle, standard backpack, uh, front printing. No printed legs, uh, custom printed face, you won't find this anywhere on Lego, it actually has some, like, you know, actually his stubble actually, uh, you can actually feel it, which is pretty cool, it's got some depth detailing, and you have a uh, standard helmet, he actually does have back printing as you can kind of see, but I'm not really going to get into that, and next we have six of these shell pieces, um, not really a lot to say about these. Um, they do, the uh, tips of these do come off. Yeah, let me just, I'll show you. So basically like this, the um, just this part here goes into here, basically. That's it. So if you want to, um, for example, here's my um, thing. You can actually put it in here and have the, you know, the shell piece come out like bang after it's done uh, shooting, which is pretty, pretty neat. Got six of those, and then two of the big cannons that I had previously. And then next, we got this bag. Let's see what's in it. Okay, so in this bag, we have five of these dark tan leg pieces here, which are going to be for five more Japanese soldiers. Um, we have five of the um, standard Japanese helmets. And a custom painted Type 99 that I did myself. I actually took the silver Type 99 and painted the back stock piece there. It's pretty nice. Pretty accurate. So I'm really happy with the uh, uh, way I painted that. So I'm still expecting um, custom heads for these guys coming in soon. And then custom torsos for these guys. So we're going to have... Um, and then I also did get another helmet, but that is for, um, you know like, existing Japanese soldiers that I have. Let me just give you an example of what the Japanese soldiers are kind of going to look like. Like, the torso is going to be different, but here's what it's going to look like. This is one of my better-looking Japanese soldiers because he actually has leg printing and, um, probably a better torso printing. He's more of a Japanese, uh, elite. He's got, a uh, ammo pouch here, probably hold more magazines, and the Type 99 heavy machine gun. So, um, got more of these helmets here, which is going to be pretty cool. So we're going to have a lot of, uh, Japanese soldiers. I already have three, uh, so this guy and another guy and another guy. So when we have all these, it will make it eight plus this one helmet, which I'm going to actually maybe use. I might use it in this or not. I'm not really sure. So, um, definitely be cool to have more Japanese soldiers in the Pacific mock and, of course, um, Putting that guy in the mock, and if you guys have seen my flamethrower uh, trooper, he's going to be going in there as well. So, um, that's basically it for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching this haul that I have. Uh, it was really, um, cool to get all this really neat stuff, and, um, hope to show you guys some more videos later. Thank you guys for watching.